Yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. So today uh, we are discussing about uh, the topic differences between the goods and services. Yes, sir. It is so clearly uh, understandable that of uh, a physical goods and uh, pure services that stop that uh, pure tangibility versus pure intangibility. Yes, here hundred percent tangible goods are hundred percent tangible. Whereas uh, services are hundred percent intangible. So what happens in case uh, uh, if we are going to have the partial amount of uh, services involved in, while offering the goods? Yes, that's the point uh, of what we have discussed during the tenure uh, when we started the services marketing concepts. So the degree of uh, intangibility gets deferred correct so when we are going to take a pure goods yes those are all 100 percent tangible and pure services 100 percent intangible that's the viewpoint where we are making the differences and the second point we are discussing about uh, the goods have uh, uh, a tangible benchmark against uh, which quality can be assessed. Yes, sir. 100% right. See, the tangible benchmarks can be set very easily for the goods when we are offering. Because uh, the tangibility aspect is visible to everyone that uh, so and so amount of uh, quantum of uh, goods can has been sold. Correct? We can set the benchmark very easily. But uh, with respect to the amount of uh, services, can we able to collect the feedback from all customers who have visited to our organization and uh, collect the feedback from them? The truth behind this is about Majority of the customers may not be ready to give feedback. That's the truth involved here. So when we are going to focus upon understanding our client's mindset, probably we cannot call that as like a, a benchmark. We supposed to consider the quality to services what we are offering. That should be in a better manner okay so when we are going to gather the feedback probably 100 percent of collection of feedback is a kind of green in wherever the service whichever the service correct and uh, the third point is about uh, production and uh, consumption of uh, goods can be separable Whereas uh, production and consumption of services inseparable in nature. So this uh, separable and inseparable, we have discussed this for uh, about second time. Correct. So we already covered this uh, 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 separable and uh, inseparable concepts during the time of uh, services concepts in the first unit. Correct. So in the second unit also, it is getting repeated with respect to the amount of differences between goods and services. Yes, sir. The production of uh, uh, goods and the consumption of uh, goods can be separated very easily. Whereas uh, the services thing, yes, inseparable in nature. Production of uh, services and the consumption of services should be taken place into the same place. So no, uh, you are teaching online here. You are sitting somewhere and we are sitting at ho our home. Probably, yes, we can separate. 
yes sir so the place here we are getting associate is this online platform correct so this online platform is common for us that's the reason place is common we cannot be separated no sir you are uploading all these videos into youtube we can watch these videos even into the later case later time we can view this video and we can give a comment on this we can go for getting the updates on all these things correct so we can separate no still that uh, uh, the knowledge even that particular communication of the services provider from the consumer what he is expecting see my consumer here is my students correct so my students they are expecting the conceptual understanding as well as few of the examples to visualize the topic correct so 100% sure even that youtube video of my own also consist of those conceptual thoughts as well as those examples to make those concepts to get visualized correct so 100% true that is inseparable because you are not looking forward into the services providers the quantum you are looking forward into those qualitative aspects that is the reason production and consumption of service is inseparable so we got a point here and uh, the fourth point in case of uh, goods production happens first and uh, consumption next whereas uh, into the services yes production and consumption services is going to get happen simultaneously correct so it's almost just like uh, where well, looks so simple okay and uh, we need to have that visualization any of the goods whichever it is getting produced yes production happens first then the consumption next and uh, with respect to the few services such like uh, teaching and a uh, few of the examples being quoted over that as like a surgery even about the hair cutting correct so simultaneously it should get happen so both mindset should be similar in terms of visualizing and capitalizing the concepts as well as the visualization of both those thoughts yes we should have a common mindset then only services is going to get success production of products not necessary producer will be having his own intention when he is going to produce it he need not to have the thought process of all the products need to be manufactured to certain group of people maybe some time where customization is required yes of course it is going to get happen as according to the customized mode of approach but still production happens first then conversion next into the groups or as services yes simultaneously and the fifth point as about uh, in case of goods the consumer is not a part of the production process whereas uh, with respect to the services yes consumer is a part of production process wherever you are getting into the goods pure goods never going to be produced in front of your consumers reason behind that it's almost it's like a, a the thing when we are moving forward with respect to the production of goods our normal thought process it is such like a, a we need to produce this and keep it for selling it correct 
so it is ready for selling. That is how the goods, the thought process is going to take place. But as uh, uh, with respect to the amount of uh, services part, yes, for the uh, individual clients, maybe I'm teaching the same topic uh, uh, to undergrad students here. Whereas uh, in case if I'm going to take the same thing to uh, the postgraduate students, might be I would have come up with uh, one of the case study of. Uh, uh, somewhere around uh, seven pages or ten pages of case study and uh, I would start having the discussion the differences between the goods and services correct maybe uh, undergrad students may not be able to digest that case study uh, at their first instance so I need to understand my clients requirements correct that is fifth point where the consumer is a part of service of production of service consumer is a part so i need to understand the pulse rate of my clients i need to offer feed the information how much ever it is digestible for them correct so in case if i'm going to feed excessive probably things may not be able to be understood Correct? That is how the system works for the services sector. And uh, the sixth point is about uh, goods are standardized and uh, uh, not subject to variation. And uh, services are subject to variations. This particular point, uh, uh, even this also we have discussed uh, this before. Uh, second or third time variability is one of the concept we understood under the characteristics also we understood uh, uh, variability correct so here the variability concept is uh, zero during the time of uh, production of a product because uh, the whole phantom of goods whatever we are producing ultimately we are producing in a bulk and offering it for the sale whereas uh, services no services have been getting produced for the sake of one specific group of people correct so probably uh, in case if we are going to take a, a simple consideration a chef one who is uh, preparing the food very much sure uh, he need to address those clients' requirements. Otherwise, that food won't feel tasty for the consumers. Correct? So here, probably uh, we are all sitting here somewhere around uh, 37 people, including me, who are all sitting here. It is so clear that uh, all of us are having our own thought process with respect to that food consumption habits. Some of us uh, 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 would like to have more spicy. Some of us uh, would like to have more sweet. Probably it is a mix match kind of set. Correct? The services provider, when he's going to offer the service, probably we are going to specify it. If I'm not wrong, uh, uh, probably you're going to specify in the hotels as such like uh, is uh, 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 that particular product what you are going to offer it to me that should be more spicy you're going to specify it why because that is your taste what you're expecting okay so subject to variation here we are discussing from the viewpoint of clients and now come to the viewpoint of a services provider. Yes, sir. In spite of a more and more amount of efforts, also, the services provider's service, what he has provided during the first instance, compared with the second, third, fourth, fifth, it varies. So why? Yes, services like that only. Probably, 
services provider what he is trying to serve it that may not have any kind of fixed standards because that is based upon a psychological module what he has prepared within his mindset if he is going to feel that that is one of the specific product probably uh, he may go for fixing up a standard for that and probably machinization may take place as is like a banking sector i can go for taking a simple example into the banking sector yes we can go for offering the, uh, those kind of uh, services because uh, counting of for uh, a note used to get differ from one uh, cashier to another cashier correct for counting that uh, uh, the same quantum of notes with the same denomination might be uh, one person used to take uh, somewhere around 10 minutes time whereas another person used to take or uh, 12 to 15 minutes of time so to reduce that automated teller machine has arrived correct so all these kind of efforts in case if product is associated with that service yes we can able to introduce any kind of automations otherwise yes variations are very quiet so with this note uh, uh, we have completed six points out of uh, uh, 11 points okay so rest of the five points we are going to discuss in the next session thanks to everyone